The Draw Lines tool lets you create vector paths consisting of straight lines, curves, or a combination of the two. You can use it for everything from creating original designs to modifying existing ones, making it a tool you'll definitely want to be familiar with. Click on the pencil icon in the toolbar on the left side of your workspace to activate Draw Lines. Then click anywhere within the workspace window to place your first node. Move your mouse to a different location and click again to place another, forming a line between the two. Continue placing as many nodes as you'd like, then return to the starting point, right click, or press the escape key to end the path. By default, when you activate the Draw Lines tool and click, you'll place a corner node. Pressing the S key lets you quickly toggle between smooth and corner nodes. The cursor icon changes anytime you switch node types, giving you a visual representation of the node you'll be placing. When placing a smooth node using this method, known as Auto Smooth Mode, the shape of the curve is determined by the position of the next node. An alternative way to create curves with the Draw Lines tool is to click, hold, and drag. This controlled mode lets you adjust the control handle, giving you greater control of its shape. Once you're happy with the handle's position, release the mouse to place it. Continue dragging and then click to place the next node. In either placement mode, the cursor will change when you hover over an endpoint, midpoint, intersection, or existing node. When you move your cursor close enough to a valid point, it will also snap into position over it. Click to place a node perfectly aligned to that point. Holding shift while dragging constrains placement of nodes or handles to horizontal, vertical, or 45 degree angles from the last placed node. If you start a line from the beginning or end point of an existing line, it will automatically join to it and continue the path. Creating a new line between two open shapes will auto join them, and you'll see an animated dash pattern to confirm it's been joined and selected. Holding Control or Command while placing a node disables the auto-joining behavior. The status bar at the bottom of the workspace displays cursor position, length of the current line segment, and the angle between successive line segments as you create them. Once you've placed all your nodes, you can use the Edit Nodes tool to refine the shapes even further. To learn more about nodes and how to modify them, check out our Edit Nodes video linked in the description. Now you know how the Draw Lines tool works and how it can be used to create or edit existing shapes. Be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos on Mastering Lightburn.